you're here, this flow today is all about beginnings and connection and gratitude. And we're all, we all might find a different reason for challenge in this flow. Maybe it's that you're really new to yoga and these poses and are foreign to you and it feels new and it feels different and it's really challenging. And, or maybe it's that you've been doing yoga for years and years and years, you're a seasoned yogi, you have a very dynamic practice and slowing down a bit is, is difficult. I myself <laughs> struggle with that. But let's face challenge head on together and let's come together to, clo um, to flow. And what we're gonna do today is just create some calm and stillness before. So I want you to come into a comfortable seat. So you can actually grab a block if you have one and or a cushion or something and come down to sit on it. It will just help you get that nice straight spine, that nice neutral spine. And then you can come into a cross-legged position, whatever feels better. I like to put one leg in front of the other and you can cross the legs if that feels better but wherever you are just find a feeling of comfort and bring your hands onto your knees and then turn the palms facing up feel length through the spine and you can even have a little wiggle maybe taking the flesh away from the sit bones really sit down onto those sit bones and find connection to the earth below you and start to connect to the breath and imagine that connection to the earth through your root is rooting all the way up if you want through your spine coming out the crown of your head so you feel like you're feeling long and tall and lengthened. And if they aren't already, close your eyes and start to tune in. Take a long, slow, deep breath in and slowly exhale, let it go. With each inhale, find a feeling of creating space. And with each exhale, find a feeling of letting go. Letting go of the tension, letting go of any thoughts, letting them simply melt away. And continue to breathe slowly and gently as you bring your awareness to the top of your head. Picture a warm, loving, golden light spreading from the top of your head down to your toes. Feel your muscles let go as the light washes over you, surrounding, protecting you. Golden light continues to wash down. Feel it through the arms, the torso, heart, coming into the stomach, and then finally down through the legs. In a safe and relaxed state. Find a moment to reflect on all the things you're grateful for. Your loved ones, the breath in your lungs, sunshine, fresh air, kindness shown to you by friends, neighbours, even strangers. Whatever comes to your mind, there are no wrong or right answers. As each gratitude appears, gently visualize yourself giving thanks to each and every one of them. Picture the person you're grateful for standing in front of you and tell them how grateful you are for them and why. Try to make that image and feeling as real as you can. Sometimes it's so common to freeze in times like this. You struggle to have a difficult time coming up with gratitude, but start small, the roof over your head. Maybe that amazing apple you had for breakfast. Gratitude for the strong body that's holding you up, supporting you, 
what's got you through life so far. Bring awareness and give thanks to all. slowly allow that feeling of deep gratitude to come into your body notice notice where your body is feeling it and take a few breaths and allow that feeling to expand enjoy the feeling feel it wash away the tension feel it wash away any negativity When you're ready, we'll slowly end this gratitude meditation with the following affirmation. Thank you. Thank you for the many blessings I have been bestowed with. May these blessings multiply as I continue to notice and give thanks for them. Thank you. Now gently, Start to bring movement back into the body. Little wiggles to the fingers, wiggles to the toes. And before you open your eyes, bring your hands to your heart center and start to rub your hands together. Create some heat between the palms. Take a big breath in and exhale. Bring that heat onto your heart and dedicate your practice today to someone who makes you strong, someone who loves you, someone who lifts you up, someone you're incredibly grateful for. Now blink your eyes open, take a little moment to adjust and bring that feeling of gratitude with you as we flow. Notice if you start to kind of, your thoughts take over and you start to beat yourself up for whatever reason it is, Come back to gratitude. Come back to how grateful we are. We have a body that moves and we can do all these things. Our body that's carried us through life so far. So you're going to slowly bring the knees together ooh, and come down onto your back. Let's give a little windscreen wipers at the knees either side, releasing through the hips. And one of the ways that I like to flow is by starting by waking up our glutes, our back body, and then our front body. So when we move around the mat, we move from this place of strength and stability. So that's what we're gonna do now. Bring your feet in about hands distance from your body. Connect to your core, think of your core like a web, and the web works with each other together. So it's not simply just pulling your navel in to connect to it, you need to think about lifting your pelvic floor, drawing your hip points towards each other, energizing. They're not actually going to move, but you'll notice if you put your hands there and you think about doing that, this, all the muscles underneath your fingers start to engage. Draw the ribs down, feel the strength, everything consolidating together. And then as you exhale, lift the hips up. Put your brain in your glutes and make sure your glutes are firing. Our glutes can be really lazy. Nowadays, because we sit so much or we're driving and, and we lengthen our glutes and shorten our hip flexors so our glutes can, can not fire properly and our hip flexors can get really tight. And tight doesn't necessarily mean strong. So in your bridge, keep those glutes firing. Keep the core engaged and reach your arms up and then clasp your fist, clasp your fingers, interlace the fingers into a fist and bring that fist over your head, reaching the arms up so you can pull your shoulder blades away from your spine. Up, oh, up towards your shoulders, my words are going, I feel really relaxed about <laughs> that gratitude meditation. And you're gonna draw the tailbone down, so keeping that feeling of length and space through the spine. And you can push down through the heels and pull them back and notice how that connects to the glutes even more. And you should notice your hamstrings firing even more as well. So the back of the thighs. 
And you're going to breathe here for three more breaths. Draw the ribs down. Don't let them pop up. Keep drawing them down. That nice strength. Awareness in the core. Last breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Let it go. All the way down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. And then the arms come back over. So back body is now awake. You're going to bring the legs, the knees over the hips. So you've got a nice 90 degree angle. Take a deep breath in. Connect to the core as you exhale and dip your right toe down. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, your left foot comes down. If this feels too much, you can have a peep at your abdominals. If you see your abdominals doming or pain there or you can't control it, instead you can just dip the toe down instead. And again, if this is too much, you can drop a foot down and just do one side at a time. So take this to, you, this is your practice. Take it to the level that you want to take it. Always know that they, you can do whatever you like. <laughs> Listen to your body, that is the most important thing. So exhale, heel comes down, inhale, you lift. And pay attention to your core. Don't let your spine over arch as the heel comes down. If it is, then just don't bring the heel as low. And you should really feel this connection to the deep core here. We're gonna do a couple more. Exhale down, inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale up, one more each side, exhale, hold it at the bottom. Breathe here, imagine you're sucking your leg into the hip bone, into the hip joint. Hug the sit bones towards each other. Breathing three, two, one. Inhale, lift up, exhale, left side. Left leg hugs into the hip. Hug the sit bones towards each other, length through the tail. Core is strong, three, two, and one. Bring the knees up, drop the feet down that distance apart. Actually bring the left foot to the center and cross the right leg over and take the knees over to the left as your gaze comes to the right. Taking a little twist, breathing here. The inhale brings you back to center and you're gonna switch that cross and take it to the other side. Inhale, through center. Take your hands to the back of the thighs. You can either roll onto a side and bring yourself up, or you can take some rock and rolls. So you're gonna hug the navel to spine, round through the back, and rock and roll forward and back. It should feel really nice along the spine. Take three, four, five, and come all the way up and over into all fours. So wrists under sh shoulders. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Spread the fingers, push down through the hands, dial the hands out slightly. So you're going to find your strength here. You're going to hug the navel in. Think about that webbing of the core, everything working, ribs drawing down. Extend your right leg back and then use the glute to lift up that leg. Imagine you've got a block or something on the back on your sacrum so you can't tip in the pelvis. You want to think about keeping that neutral pelvis. And then maybe you reach your left arm forward and you're going to hold it here, keeping that connection to the, the um, core, keeping the connection to that glute. Imagine my, your fingers and your toes are being pulled in opposite directions for three, for two and one. Kick that foot in towards you. Reach back with the hand. If your foot and your hand don't touch, that's fine. Just imagine they are. If you can, grab hold of the foot, push one into the other, but keep that connection to the core and the glute. Breathe the chest forward. Lifting here, breathing here. Three. Stay with the breath. Two and one. Slowly release, that right leg extends back. Your left hand comes underneath the shoulder and you're gonna lift up into a modified side plank. So if balance is really tricky, you can kickstand this left foot out to have a little bit more stability. But if you wanna test yourself, keep this left foot facing back towards the back of the room, back of the mat. And squeeze that glute, the left hand pushes down as well, dials out, securing through the shoulder, reach up through the right fingertips. Holding here, breathing here, length through the side waist. 
and then kick the foot back towards you, take hold of the foot, push one into the other, lift up, reach up. Again, that right glute is working, breathing the chest up. And then as you exhale, drop the knee and then reach that right hand forward. Your left leg's going to come back and you're going to lift from the left glute and we're on the other side. So holding here, thinking about that neutral pelvis, connect to the core, reach the fingers forward, the toes back. As you exhale, the foot comes in, reach round, take hold of the top of the foot, lift up. Kick one into the other, keep that stability through the left shoulder, push into the hand, dial that hand out. Breathing here for one more breath. And then as you exhale, take your right hand down, open your body out to the left. Left fingertips reach up, secure that right shoulder blade onto the back and open the body to the side. It feels so good. <laughs> it feels so nice to move this morning. Hopefully you are smiling with me. Then you're going to kick that foot back, take hold of the top of the foot and push one into the other. Again, I should have said this on the other side. If the hands don't and the hand and the foot doesn't meet, you can always grab a strap, but at the same time, you don't need to worry. You're, you're still stretching and strengthening by reaching it back. In a way, it's a lot harder to do that. As you exhale, this time slowly, both hand and knee meets the earth. Taking a few cat cows, inhale, breathe the chest forward and exhale, round through the back, push the ground away, round through the spine, lift up through the whole spine, lift up through the belly as well. One more time, inhale, breathing forward, pull the hands back, imagine you're pulling the chest through the arms and exhale, round through the back, push the ground away. Coming back to centre, you're going to tuck your toes and we're going to lift into our first downward facing dog. So give the legs a little pedal, maybe the feet, maybe the hips, what do you need right now? And then when you're ready, find some stillness and find your strength here. So spread the fingers into the mat, push into the floor, dial the hands out, Stabilise through the shoulders and draw the front ribs in so they're really supporting you, your core is really strong. Lift the sit bones, have a bend in the knees if you need one. Breathe here, energise through the legs, drawing the heels down. If they don't meet the floor, that's absolutely fine. One more deep breath here and then let it go through the mouth. You're going to inhale, lift your right leg high, squeeze that glute. Exhale, step your foot towards the front of the mat. If you don't step it in one go, then you can use your hand to help you. Come onto the back knee, inhale, reach the fingertips high, low lunge. Those back toes can stay tucked. And you're going to squeeze this glute. Again, you can poke it to make sure it's on. And you should feel a really nice stretch through this front rib. Draw the tailbone down so you're wrapping the glutes down. And your right foot pushes into the mat and slightly pulls back. Breathing here, being here. As you exhale, bring your right hand behind you. So it can either come onto your sacrum or it can come onto your left, left thigh. And then you can bring your left hand onto your right hand, right leg even, <laughs> and push the thigh away from you, just creating a little bit more length. Take a few breaths here. And then either you stay there or maybe you kick that left leg back towards you, taking hold of the foot. Again, keeping that glute activated, lengthening through the crown of the head. Three more breaths here. Keeping the connection to your core, which will help you keep that balance. And then exhale, slowly release the foot without slingshotting it down. Come back to your low lunge. You're going to tuck your toes and lift up into high lunge. You can have a little bend in that back knee, so keep thinking about that nice neutral pelvis. And as you exhale, your right arm goes behind you, your left arm in front, coming into a little twist here. So reach the right fingertips back, squeeze the glutes, keep that pelvis nice and neutral. Deep breath in, and then as you exhale, your right hand comes down, your left arm comes over. Reverse. Really squeezing into that left glute, breathing into that left hip. Your right foot's grounded down, your right glute is on two. 
and then you're going to windmill. So your left hand comes back, your right arm comes forward, and we're in a warrior two. So the back foot now is parallel to the back edge of the mat. The right foot's facing forward. Keep this knee over your ankle. Now this knee will want to collapse in, so keep pushing it back and firing that glute. And lift, feel a lift through the side bridge, lift through the crown of the head. Taking a deep breath here, and exhale, let it go. As you inhale, straighten the front leg. You might want to hop the back foot in just a little bit, coming towards triangle pose, Utita Trikonasana. Find length through the torso. Inhale, reach forward, length, 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 and then exhale, open it out. Now the aim of this pose is not to touch that bottom toe. The aim is to feel this really lovely opening. So connect to the legs, energize through the legs, open the left hip, open the left shoulder. You can rest your hand on your thigh or shin. Just breathe up and feel that really lovely opening. Your core is still connected. Now we're gonna do a little bit of balance here, guys. So as you exhale, gaze down to the floor, start to bend into the right knee and bring your right fingertips down to the earth. You're gonna flex the left foot and lift up half moon. Now, if you have a block or something that looks like a block, you can grab this underneath your right hand to give you a little bit more length. So open the body out to the side again, really opening through that left hip, through the left shoulder. If this is really easy for you, instead of the block, you can hover your fingers off the floor. Holding here for three, for two, and one. As you exhale, slowly bring the left foot down. Straight away, bend into the left knee, take the foot to 45 degrees and sit down into a half squat. So send the hips back, hinging from the hips, send the right toes up. Bring your hands to your heart. Feel a lift. So I don't want you to just collapse onto the floor. I want you to feel a lift. As you exhale, take your yogi squat to the right hand side. You're going to plant your hands to the right and then you're going to swivel, coming into lizard pose. So your right foot comes to the outer edge of your mat. Let's bring our left knee down. You can stay here. You can come onto your forearm. You can tuck your back toes and lift the knee wherever you feel like you need to go. And I really like to bring the part of the, if you're on your forearms or even if you're on your hands, this works. Kind of pull back through the hands or the forearms so you can extend through the spine and feel a really nice lengthening here. Again, it's about creating that space and that left glute is firing. And you can even kind of slightly drop the head, keeping that neck fairly neutral, but just releasing here. Breathing into it. Send the breath to the parts of the body that feel sticky. So send them to the hips and use the breath to help you. One more deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Coming back up. Now, you're going to challenge yourself, you're going to tuck your toes, lift off that knee and see if you can step your left foot to the front of your mat. Coming into yogi squat. So your feet, if this is too much, you can bring a blanket underneath the heels or you can be on your toes and try and bring your hands to your heart, taking your upper arms inside your knees and kind of pushing one into the other. Breathing here. Feeling the glutes engage, feeling that lift, so you're not sinking, you're lifting. Trying to keep that nice neutral spine as much as you can. And then as you exhale, you're gonna take a forward fold. So your hips come up, your toes come in, and you fold. Bring your feet to the hip distance and melt over. Have as much of a bend in the knees as you can, as you, as you need to, and send the hip bones, sit bones even up towards the sky. I have really lost my words today, guys. Sorry about this. <laughs> As you inhale, find length, gaze forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step back, straight into your downward facing dog. We're going to take five breaths here in silence. Remember that strength, push into the hands, dial them out, send the sit bones up, connect to the core, energize through the legs.
As you inhale, bring your left leg high. And as you exhale, step it forward to the front of the mat. Come onto the back knee and inhale, lift up, rise up. Low lunge, and your nasana. Reach through the fingertips, reach through the side waist. Engage that right glute, open through the hip flexor, draw the tailbone down. Take a breath, take a moment. Notice how this side will feel a little different to the last. And then you're gonna bring your left hand onto your right thigh or onto that sacrum. Your right palm comes onto your left thigh and you can push into it and draw the thigh forward, just creating that little bit more space. Take a moment here and then maybe you can bend into this knee, taking hold of the foot. I should have said on the other side that you can grab some blankets and place them under the knee. Keep breathing, finding length. Taking that moment, taking that little twist. Create space through the spine and breathe. Next exhale, slowly bring the toes down to the mat. Tuck them and lift up into that high lunge. Again, having that little bend in the back knee so you can keep the pelvis nice and stable. Then as you exhale, your left hand comes forward behind you, your right fingertips forward. Draw them in opposite directions. Really think about hugging your inner thighs in towards each other, creating stability in the pelvis. And then your left hand comes onto the right thigh and your right arm comes over. Create that space, find that length. And then your right arm goes back, your left arm goes forward and you're opening into your warrior two. Left, thing, left toes forward. Find that connection to the earth. Lift through the arches. Feel that strength coming up through the legs. Turn on the glutes if they're not on already and lift through the crown of your head. As you inhale, straighten that front leg, slightly hop the back foot in towards our triangle pose. Inhale, reach forward, find length. Exhale, open it out. Keep the length through the side body. Keep lifting through the fingertips. Breathing here, energy through the legs. Try not to lock out that front knee. Have a little micro bend if you, if you feel like you're hyperextending there. Breathing here, being here. So we're coming towards a half moon pose. Ala Chandrasana, you're gonna take your gaze down. Start to bend into that left knee. Bring the fingertips down onto the floor or to a block and your right leg comes up to the sky. Flex the foot, turn those right toes towards the right of the room. Breathing the right fingertips up, opening the body. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly come onto that right foot, straight away, turning the toes to 45, bend into the knee, sit the hips back, left toes towards the ceiling, feeling that lift. Exhale, take it to the other side, Right toes come up and then swiveling your body round to the front of the mat, taking the hands down, the back knee down, left foot comes to the left of the mat. Lizard pose. So again, taking whichever variation feels right for you, noticing how this side might feel a little bit different. And again, remembering that feeling of lengthening through the spine, keeping the engagement, the wrapping down of that right glute, and then closing the eyes. One more breath here. Inhale and then exhale, all coming up onto our hands, meeting here, tucking the back toes and seeing if you can step that left, that right foot in to meet the left and sitting down into your yogi squat. This time, Keep that feeling of the arms pressing against the knees so you've got engagement through the glutes. And this time walk the fingertips forward, stretching out through the spine. Deep breath in. And then as you exhale, sit the hips all the way down to the mat. Then you're gonna bring the soles of the feet together so your legs are making a kind of diamond shape. They can be in really close or further away. What feels good for you, you choose. Take your feet like a book. Inhale, breathe the chest forward and exhale, hinge from the hips, find length. 
And it might be that you only go to here, and that's fine. Breathe into the hips, breathe into the inner thigh. Maybe it's that you get all the way down and you can even curl the head in a little bit if that feels good. Closing the eyes and finding some relief and finding again some gratitude. Pretty fog here. Where are you finding resistance? Can you breathe into it? Maybe it's in the mind. Again, can you breathe into that too? Notice the thoughts. Sit with them. Inhale. Brings you all the way up. And your hands, your feet flat on the floor. And as you exhale, roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, coming all the way onto your back. Your left foot stays grounded, your right foot comes over the top. You're going to take hold of your thigh or your shin and draw it in towards you. Maybe taking a little rock from side to side. Breathing here. Starting to absorb your practice, slowing the breath, slowing the heart rate. And then exhale. As we did at the beginning, take your left foot down, cross the right foot over. And take the knees over to the left, your gaze over to the right, ending where we started. Inhale brings you back to centre and let's take it to the other side. Right foot comes down, figure four, that left foot flex into the foot and then draw the leg back. Maybe noticing, connecting to how this feels, how this side might be a little bit different from the other side. Exhale, drop the foot. Cross that left leg over, knees over to the right, gaze over to the left. Inhale, brings you through centre. Let's hug both knees in now and take a massive breath in. And as you exhale, bring your feet opposite sides of the mat and bring to mind something you are grateful for. Bring your fingers, let them curl in naturally, the palms facing the ceiling. And again, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, Find some gratitude. And now connect, connect to the breath, but don't try and change it in any way, simply be its witness. Notice how each breath looks different, how different parts of your body move as you breathe. Use this moment as an opportunity to savour the breath. Savour the intention. Remember, why are you here today? What has brought you onto this path? Why are you here? Whatever happened earlier, it no longer matters. Be with your Shavasana. Let your body get heavy. Let the breath get heavier. Tune in, Yogi. Tune in. can stay here for as long as you like but when you're ready start to wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes stretch your arms over your head stretch your toes away from you and exhale hug your knees into your chest give yourself a big squeeze mindfully rolling onto your right side gently bring yourself up to any comfortable seat Close your eyes, bring your hands into prayer, your heart centre. Come back to that dedication of gratitude. And bring this into the rest of your week, into your weekend. It's going to have
happy habit that I have that has been really transformational and it's so simple is to simply think of three, four, five, ten things you're grateful for each morning. Make them meaningful. And go small because really the big thing, the little things even, they are the big things. So ending together, simply with one breath, breathing in and letting go. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you feel the connection, feel the gratitude. See you again tomorrow on the mat.